This upcoming event will have 97 art vendors, 18 food vendors, and 12 vocal dance groups for entertainment. Woo! It's the Vegas 50th Annual Capital Affair, and it starts tomorrow. Joining us now to give us the details is Lene and Sharice. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay. Well, so you're incoming, you're outgoing executive director. So what is it like planning a huge event like this from coming into it and leaving it? Well, it's been, uh, this is probably my third event of, of planning. And so I feel like I've just gotten into a really good rhythm. <laughs> but it's been awesome to be able to train Cherise for the last two months and really um, help her get into this, the flow of things. Mm -hmm. you know. The event, I think, starts planning way right after it ends. So lene has been doing most of the planning for this one. A lot of planning starts in January, and then I have been able to come in at the end and see how it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to ask you, right? Before, but one of our favorites, like you might walk right in and it's the the whittlers, the wood, the mm -hmm. top, the top guys, <laughs> the wood turners. Yes, the wood turners. <laughs> that's what it is. But it is really a spectacle. Like, how are these people that they come every year? Do you have any new art vendors this year? Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of our returning vendors. Um, you know, we. we uh, Vendors I consider are the people that are in the booths, but we also have demonstrations that are returning. So we have the wood carvers and the wood turners. We have the Mid-State Porcelain Guild, they paint porcelain. Mm. We have the Prairie Textiles Art Guild. Um, we have the Plein Air Painters, so there's a group of painters who will come and they'll just be painting on the grounds and you can walk up to them and talk to them while they paint. So they're all returning. And then we have a ton of new ones too. I think yeah. there's 32 Yeah, for brand art new. vendors, we've got lots of new ones coming in. 32 new art vendors, some from out of state. I think almost 30% 30 are from out of state. Wow, mm -hmm. this yeah. is turning into a huge thing then. Yeah. And why is it so important to support this local art and you know have the community come out? Just to keep everyone engaged. It, it helps people relate to each other. It gives them opportunities even to buy like gifts for each other and um, just to have a chance to start a conversation. Well, you were saying that you've got something cool happening with trees yeah. and art. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have a new thing called, it's called Canvas Enchantment. So we have 10 different artists that have, we have canvases wrapped around trees, and then we're making them into, you can see the picture there, into what? illusions where it looks like maybe the tree's cut in half and something is painted on the tree. That's actually mine. Uh, those are my children. Yes. So Aww. I'm painting my kids into that one, yeah. Um, but we have artists that have painted like a pantry into them. We have artists that have created like a hole and have like creatures coming out of it. Lots of really cool canvases. So there'll be 10 of them all lined up in a row as you walk down. That That's is amazing. The amount of skill that that takes just blows my mind. Absolutely. I was not expecting that. I don't know yeah. what I was expecting. Yeah. That was not it. But <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about food earlier. Tell us about the food vendors that'll be there, because that's what I'm most excited for. Yeah, I, I was listening to you talk, and we were thinking to ourselves, well, what about uh, cheese curds and <laughs> yes. fried bread, yes. North fried bread tacos? Yeah, so we have fried bread tacos, we have cheese curds, we have mac and cheese, Mama Max is coming, we have the crepe guys, we have crepes, mm -hmm. we'll have ice cream, we'll have shave ice, the hot dogs, the pork chop sandwiches, the demonettes, popcorn balls, I mean, all kinds of food vendors. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be amazing. That's a staple you probably need to get one. Yes. This is yeah. true. I, I'm gonna, I need to go not only for the food, but also the arts and crafts is what I'm really excited Breakfast, for. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Just Breakfast, lunch, yeah. and dinner. Yes. And there's entertainment and all day long. Yes. So. We got to talk a little bit about that because yeah. you've got lots of performers. What are you like? How do you engage people that way through the entertainment and the art? Absolutely. We will have a stage set up and then a different performer every hour on the hour. So we've got singers, um, and we have dancers that will be on stage. Yeah, Northern Plains Dance will be there performing. We have the YMCA Middle Eastern dancers. Mm -hmm. We have cloggers. cloggers. So those are the dance groups. And then we have like Danny Savage and the McMahon Brothers and Wade Schaefer and Bob Shaver and... Peyton Walker, so we have just a huge lineup of all kinds of singers and dancers on the stage. So you could come in the morning, be entertained all day long, eat breakfast, lunch, and supper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just make sure you're drinking your water. Yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> so with the music and the art and the food, what type of environment are you hoping to create? We are trying to make a very fun and welcoming environment where everybody can find something that they want to do or enjoy doing. And so we have 
face painting for the kids. We have the inflatables. We have uh, two car shows going on. So there's the Pioneer Auto Club show going on on Saturday and the Mustangs and Fords of Dakotas on Sunday. We have a um, musician that strolls around the whole grounds and plays, I don't know, seven or eight different instruments. He's amazing. And, <laughs> and then, you know, so the environment is really meant to be creative one where you can just sort of engage all of your senses and really come and listen and view and partake in conversations and get to meet a bunch of vendors and people and just, you know, really have a great time. That Aww. sounds like exactly the place I want to be. Yeah. So thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for coming here, telling us all about the fair. I am so excited. Thank you. And for more information, the fair starts tomorrow the 3rd and goes till Sunday the 4th at the North Dakota Capitol Grounds. And you can visit their website, bismarckart.org, for even more information on the event. But